thank you for continuing to watch this episode of Answering the Call. We're here with Pastor Charlie Chivers, the founder president for Special Touch Ministry based out of Wisconsin. So everywhere you go, and you're based in Wisconsin, but you're really reaching out regionally, locally, as well as globally around the yes. world. You're helping people. And we talk about discipleship. So is it the caregivers? Is it the immediate family members that need to be discipled on how to minister like this? It's everybody. First yeah. of all, the individual with the disability uh, definitely needs to grow in their faith once they come to know Jesus. How far they can grow, you know, that's between them and the Holy Spirit, how he implants right. the truth. Right. Uh, and of course, we have the tools that we can use to help us assess how far we can take them spiritually. Right. But the family members, uh, a tremendous need. As a matter of fact, uh, if you take a family where there's a disability present, about 98% of those marriages will end up in divorce. Wow. Uh, in regard to the siblings, siblings of disabled siblings mm -hmm. uh, are four times more likely to be maladjusted in their adult life. Wow. Why? Because brother or sister got all the attention. I never did. When I, my friends wanted me to come out and play with them or do fun things, I had to stay home and take care of Bobby or Billy Joe. Right. Wow. And so there's a resentment that builds up. And so the family is torn, literally torn apart. Yeah. You know, dad's not present in the home. Mom becomes the principal caregiver. Yeah. Uh, they are wasting away. They are so hungry for yeah. acceptance and fellowship and yet the church doesn't uh, open up the doors readily. Right. So if we can just capture their heart, yeah. and we do that to some degree here, when we take their loved one for five days here right. for the right. camp, right. mom and dad get to maybe go on their first vacation or out on a wow. date. Yeah. And so we, 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 you know, we begin with those basic relational yeah. components right. in a family unit, and then yeah. we expand it into right. what does that relationship in the home mean in regard to your relationship as a home to Christ. Yeah, when you think about the Ten Commandments too, that seventh day rest, a state of inactivity, you know, six days do all your work. There's a lot of work running this kind of a household. I mean, any household is a lot of work, but yeah, I'd imagine that the stresses and having some respite care well, is really crucial. They're giving constantly. They're right. constantly pouring out of themselves. You know, what about them? Who, who right. fills them up? Right. Where do you and I go to be filled up when we feel empty? We right. go into fellowship with uh, like believers. Right. People with disabilities, moms and dads, they don't have that because yeah. they, they just don't fit in. They didn't even get in and invited to uh, the, the dinner parties or the holiday uh, uh, rep, um, parties in, yeah. in the family wow. uh, because of the disability. You know, they're uncomfortable, so let's not invite them. So they're totally marginalized in every sense of the word. The church has a tremendous opportunity to build a love structure around those people and to uh, bring balance into their home and to make Christ the center. Yeah. Miracles will begin to happen not only yeah. in that home but in the church yeah. as yeah. the gifts yeah. from those families right. now begin to be applied right. to the church. Yeah. I often say a church without people with disabilities present is actually sick and disabled. Wow. Yeah. Why? Because it's missing the gifts. An example would be in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, yeah. that scripture there is talking about the members of the body. And um, it says there that the members of the body that seem, emphasis is on the word seem, that yeah. seem to be uncomely, right. are actually indispensable. Right. In a world uh, where people with disabilities are marginalized at every turn, in a world where if any support had to happen for them here in America, it had to be legislated right. in terms of the Americans with Disabilities Act, in other words, force upon society, right. in a world where they're hidden away, put in institutions and group homes, in a world where they're an embarrassment, in that kind of world, what is it about people with disabilities that makes them indispensable? Well, it's the context of 1 Corinthians chapter 12. It says the head can't say to the foot. The head, by the way, is usually the pretty part of the body. Right. Can't say to the foot, the ugly part, that I don't need you. You cut the foot off and see how well the body works. That's good. All right, so the yeah. bottom line is, why is it? It's because God has put the members of the body in the body according to yeah. their gifts. So a right. church without people with disabilities present or part of that right. congregation is actually, actually a church that's sick and, and disabled because it's missing, it's missing the, the gift. Yeah, and I even talked last night, and I've heard it over and over, God doesn't make mistakes. I no. said one thing God's never said was oops. So <laughs> each person can be used for God's glory. And what you even see with some of these uh, folks with special needs, they have some amazing attributes that we could use. I mean, oh. they, their love, their unconditional look at things. I mean, you could, we can learn a lot from this. this their this their simple could. faith. Yeah. Childlike faith, right? Just simple faith. Yeah. You tell me, it's true. I'll Good. Hey, stay tuned. We're going to talk a little bit more about discipleship with some of the folks here that work with Special Touch Ministries, volunteers, some board members, some camp partners. 
so you too can answer the call and get involved mm -hmm. in discipleship with Special Touch Ministry. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.